everybody. Today the question is, why is everyone so angry? And, you know, it's a fair question. I mean, you can look out your front door or on social media or regular media or just sometimes in your living room and experience people being angry for all kinds of things. So where does that come from? What's the deal? Fair questions, and thanks for sending that question in. That said, I want to start off by, by really saying that I don't think that it's healthy to assume that anger is something you shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Yes, anger is a negative thing, but I don't think there's such a thing as a quote-unquote perfect life where nobody ever gets mad. For one thing, that's boring. It's also completely unrealistic. If you look back at any hero you ever had, heroes in the Bible, heroes in the stories that you love, heroes in the wisdom literature of all humanity, over and over again there are characters who get mad for really legitimate reasons. Let's not be the kind of people who are afraid of our own feelings. It reminds me of, there's this great Ernest Hemingway quote, um, and I'm going to read it to you. Try to breathe deeply, really to taste food when you eat, and when you sleep, really to sleep. Try as much as possible to be wholly alive with all your might, and when you laugh, laugh like hell, and when you get angry, get good and angry. Try to be alive. I love that, and of course it's appropriate coming from Papa, but that idea is one that, that can really get you far. Really feel your feelings. When you're angry, feel that anger. Get to the bottom of it. When you're afraid, feel that fear. Get to the bottom of it. Naturally, when you're happy, when you're joyful, when you're inspired, those things too. But you're going to get better at happy, joyful, and inspired when you're better at feeling your feelings in general. Don't be afraid of your fear. And don't run from your anger because all of those things are trying to tell you something. There's nothing dishonorable about being angry. The question is, what are we going to do about it? There's nothing dishonorable about being angry or afraid or any of those negative feelings at all. They're trying to tell you something. Here's the deal. Feel all of your feelings, negative or positive, but when you feel those negative feelings, Really feel them, but here's the other part of the equation. Don't let them define you. Feel your fear, don't become an afraid person. Feel your anger, but don't be defined by your anger. Lots of positive things have happened in the history of humanity when enough people got mad and stood up and said, no more. But it's the standing up that matters. It's the positive action, not the negative emotion. And there's an important distinction there. When you act just out of anger or just out of fear, you tend to do dumb things, destructive things, counterproductive things. But when you say, wait a minute, why am I afraid? Why am I angry? And take a minute to do a little bit of archaeology on those wonderful feelings of yours. Get to the bottom of that amazing heart of yours and go, wait a minute, what's really going on here? And if you can do that and channel that investigatory journalism into a positive action, standing up for something, let's say, then you're getting somewhere. So why is everybody angry? This is a great question because it's an archaeological kind of a question. And the answer is there's a lot of reasons why. There are uh, vast injustices that really are irritating, but there's also the sacrifice of, of comfort zone things that make people mad for not so great reasons. And so it's not a blanket answer, why is everyone so angry, but rather, depending on the situation, be the kind of person that goes, why am I angry about this? Why do they seem to be angry about that and the other thing? Be the kind of person that if you experience someone angry in your life, instead of going, well, I just wish they weren't mad, take a minute and go, why are they mad? Because at the end of the day, there's two big reasons. Anger is the byproduct of a disconnect. It's a disconnect of, let's say, expectations. I feel a certain way and I'm expecting this to play out a certain way and it didn't happen that way because of an injustice or because of who knows why and now I'm angry because there's that disconnect. I thought I was going to be able to go straight but the guy in front of me cut me off in traffic and I'm angry about that. Anger is a byproduct of some kind of a disconnect and on a profoundly spiritual level, we thrive on connection, right? 
So when you're angry or when you're witnessing someone being angry, the question is, well, what's the disconnect? Sometimes the disconnect is completely legitimate. Like we are entitled to certain rights. We deserve to be treated like human beings and you're not. And that's angering. And so you go, okay, wait a minute. The disconnect is a super legitimate one. Let's treat the disconnect so that there's no fuel for the anger, right? Sometimes though the disconnect is well I just want to do what I want to do and I want to be comfortable and you're forcing me out of my comfort zone by asking me to do the basic human kindness thing of wearing a mask in public let's say I don't know where I got that example but you know what I mean where's the disconnect that's the archaeological question is it a disconnect of heart or is it a disconnect of ego and when you can start to work on that, you can start to figure out what to do. If the ego is the disconnect, you can go, you know what, that's not the right thing. Let's find something that makes you feel good, but actually helps other people. Sometimes getting out of your comfort zone is the beginning of true love, you know what I mean? But if the disconnect is something legitimate, work for that. Figure out how to connect things back up again, and the anger will start to dissipate. So, to sum up, feel your anger. Don't let it define you. Follow your anger back to that disconnection. Fix the disconnection and find a way to connect with something bigger than yourself. That is the secret to a lot of things. Feel those feelings. They're beautiful. And so are you. Keep those questions coming. You can do that by sending them to me through my website, waypastok.com, by posting an Instagram or a tweet with the hashtag AskDieter, by sending me messages all over the place. You know where to find me. But one special announcement today, I want to let you know that my new book, Meaning Fulfilled, is out on Amazon right now. You can pre-order it. You can download the Kindle one. Go to waypastok.com or follow the link in my Instagram profile to go right to my books page. I'd love for you to pick up a copy. I'm really excited about it. But one way or another, thanks for liking and subscribing and sharing. Keep up the good work. You got this.